Sound Coast Mace R&D. I've had uh, several questions come up about how to adjust valves on an engine. And since we have the engine out of our sedan Solo 2 car, we're going to adjust the valves while it's out. At least have a look and see how they're doing. Uh, find that most engines will have the same type of adjustment if you have a rocker arm type engine. Uh, depending on the firing order, your actual sequence of how you adjust the valves may be slightly different, but this is pretty well established on the uh, 1342 firing order. And we'll have a look here and see what's going on. What I've done is to take and set the engine at top dead center and what that will do is that will set up the valve arrangement so that I can actually adjust these quite easily now. And once I get half of the engine adjusted then we'll turn the crankshaft 360 degrees and we'll adjust the other half. So let's take a look here and see what we got. I think we're on number four firing and we have a little bit of clearance there. A little bit of clearance on the intake. Clearance on the intake. We're going to skip this one here because we can see that one's open. And this exhaust here has some clearance in it. So we'll go ahead and set the uh, clearance. At least we'll adjust it if we need to. We're going to check it first and see what happens here. This engine has the Joel Engineering 283 degree cam in it. And the valve specifications are 10 on the exhaust and 8 on the intake. So I have a feeler gauge here with a 10 and an 8. So I'm going to check the exhaust first. Uh, that feels pretty good. Should be just snug. Shouldn't be loose. Shouldn't be tight. Should be just snug. Okay, we'll check the intake. Looking good. Looking good. And remember to skip this one here. Okay, that one there is a little bit loose. So we'll take our tools. Set up the rocker. Just this. All right, now it's just fine. However, that should be ten, not eight. Now I'm going to rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees, which will rotate the cam 180 degrees. And then we'll be able to adjust the valves that we did not adjust. On this engine, you have exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, intake, and exhaust. And a lot of engines of this type will have this same adjustment procedure. marks on this engine are pretty easy to see. We have a mark here, a mark here, and then of course our mark on the engine itself. So what I do is pinch the belt a little bit so it makes it a little bit easier. We've got our timing marks lined up, so now we're on cylinder number one, and we're going to go ahead and adjust the rest of the valves. Right, we'll take our 10 on the exhaust. See, it's just a little bit loose. Loosen up the nut. Adjust them through slightly. A little tight. Just right. I'm going to go to the 8,000 fueler. Check this intake. See, it's a little bit loose. Tight. Right, there we are there. I 
this one, that one's fine. Go back to the 10 and we'll check our last exhaust. And it's just right. Well, now all that's left to do is to put in the valve cover. And we'll be ready to rock and roll one more time. If you have any questions about Fiat performance, give John Edwards a call at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.